Now sometimes you're simply told to find the area between two intersecting curves. So suppose you're given the function f of x is equal to 2 minus x squared and g of x is equal to x. Well of course the first thing you do is you draw your, your um, curves. The next thing you need to do is find where these two intersect. So where does x equal to minus x squared? Well, let me pull this over, and I can do factoring. In fact, or anyway, you are comfortable. So I get my intersecting points, or x is negative 2 and 1. This tells me the a and b points. Now, the next thing, draw your representative rectangle. And so, I have delta x, and then this is my height. Now, what is the tiny area of my little rectangle? Well, that's going to be delta x times the height. And the height, in this case, is 2 minus x squared minus x. So the area is going to be um, what I get when I sum all of these up. So this becomes the integral from negative 2 to 1 of 2 minus x squared minus x dx. All right, so this becomes, um, well, it's a straightforward integration at this point. It's 2x minus x cubed over 3 minus x squared over 2 evaluated at minus 2 and 1. So this is 2 times 1 minus negative 2 minus 1 third times 1 cubed minus negative 2 cubed minus 1 half times 1 squared minus 2 squared. And it's a minus 2 squared. Don't lose your negative there. And when you add these up, you get 9 halves. Now suppose I've been given the region f of x is 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x and g of x is x minus x squared plus 2. Again, the first thing you want to do is sketch your functions. And I've already done this and I see that they both, you know, they this one goes up and comes down and this one goes up. Basically, I'm going to have two different regions. So the first thing I want to do is set f equal to g. So 3x3, x cubed, minus x squared, minus 10x, has got to equal negative x squared plus 2x. Now remember, you want to factor. So if I bring this to the other side, I get 3x cubed. That's going to cancel. Um, this is minus 12x equals 0. So I want to factor. So I'm going to have 3x times x minus 2, x plus 2 equals 0. So I have three intersection points, x equals 0, 2, and negative 2. Now when you draw your graph, um, we've seen that we're going to have different regions. So you're going to need to draw different representative rectangles. You'll need this rectangle and then this rectangle. Now this is one of the points where the rectangles can really help you out. They're both in delta x, but the area is going to be the integral from negative 2 to 0 of, now which function is on the top here? This differential area, this one is um, f minus g All right, and you're going to need to add to that this area here. The integral from 0 to 2 of the top function is g minus f. All right, because if you look at your rectangle, the differential area is always top minus bottom times, in this case, delta x. So, 
let's look at this. This becomes the integral from minus 2 to 0 of 3x cubed minus 12x dx plus the integral from 0 to 2 of minus 3x cubed plus 12x dx. So this is 3x cubed over 4 minus 12 divided by 6, 2 is 6, 6x six squared evaluated at negative 2 and 0. Now we're going to add that to negative 3x cubed divided by 4 plus 6x squared evaluated at 0 and 2. So when I evaluate these, this becomes 3 fourths times 0 cubed minus negative 2 cubed, have no parentheses, there we go, minus 6 times 0 squared minus negative 2 squared. So that's my first term. I'm going to add to that negative 3 fourths times 2 cubed minus 0 cubed plus 6 times 2 squared minus 0 squared. And when I do this, I get 24.